off, uh, thanks to Pittsburgh Media for uh, coming to today's game. I'm sure you enjoyed it. A bunch of our players did. Um, it's a gutsy win by our guys. Couldn't be prouder of uh, you know the effort they gave. You know, we came up in the fourth quarter and said we're going to win this thing. Broke down on win. Again, our guys believed. Um, again, it shows your true character. Um, you know, to come back from you know being 21 down. You know, players made plays. You know, we made plays in the second half on offense and defense. You know, Eli had a much better second half than he did starting off. Um, but you know, you kind of see some of that coming. Uh, the first half, you know, what the time possession was, but it was not good. Um, you know, uh, but uh, you know, we lost that field, uh, you know, time possession probably by 12 minutes or so. Uh, so they had the ball a lot. Um, you know, which, you know, we just didn't, you know, stay on the field offensively. But we did in the second half, and it's a heck of a win. Uh, we got a happy football team in that locker right now, and again, they believed. And again, just shows true character. So, questions. Pat, what went into the adjustments? You boasted that you guys were great at adjustments on Thursday. You guys back up the 21 point comeback. What went into the adjustments on offense? We'll get the defense. Yeah. You know, defense was just, you know, making the plays. You know, I don't know if I, you know, there was a ton of adjustments. I mean, they sat in there for a while at halftime and, and, uh, and, and discussed a lot of things and what they liked, what they didn't like. And, you know, you kind of clean up your game plan based on what they're doing and what they're showing. And, and defensively, that's what we do. I don't know how many points we scored in the second half, but we make adjustments every series of trying to fix figure stuff out and, and take stuff away. But that's a good football team. Uh, I can tell you that they were a lot better today than they looked against Morgan State last year. So I give them a lot of credit. Sorbsy is a football player. He made a, some great throws out, you know, out to, you know, uh, the flats, you know, to, to the receivers. They did a nice job. They got a good football team, and, uh, but we have a better football team today. Now, what, gave you the, what gave you the, the faith in Eli to stick with him uh, even after the rough start? You know what, uh, again, he, he's, he's shown, you know, uh, in practice that, uh, that he's our guy right now. And, uh, you know, and again, we know Nate can do it too. Uh, we just felt like the scramble ability and, and you know, uh, you know, he didn't, he, you know, he didn't uh, waver at all. And I mean, you know, I think if you look in, in a kid's eyes and, and you see any, like, you know, dizziness, I mean, he was, he was locked in and shoot, he apologized to me after the game. That'll never happen again. I mean, that's kind of who he is. Um, so, um, you know, I'm glad we stuck with him because I don't think it happens at the end. I mean, you know, Kanate Mumfield, you know, Desmond Reed, you know, I've kind of talked about him for, you know, a month now about what he is. You know, 100 yards receiving, 100 yards rushing. That guy's a football player. Um, and, um, you know, credit goes to the players. Players make plays. You know, team win. Obviously, coach did a nice job, but the players make plays. So what went into the, uh, the two point uh, conversion decision at the beginning of the fourth quarter? Yeah, um, you know, uh, the recommendation, you know, on the, you know, when we were down 21 was to go for two, and I didn't think momentum wise that that was a smart decision. So, uh, you know, down 21 when we scored to go down, I guess, 15. You know, the recommendation was to go for it there, but I was like, no, I, you know, momentum wise, if you don't get it, to me, it didn't look good. Um, but, you know, all the analytics tell you you need to go for it. Um, and again, if we get one of those, you know, you're possibly playing for the win at all. So we're not playing to tie, we're playing to win. Uh, we know we have a good kicker, and again, our defense stepped up and, and got this, you know, um, you know, the four minute get the ball back with that 2.38 or whatever it was on the clock, and, and uh, our guys made plays. What happened for you guys? I mean, it seemed like one thing Cincinnati was consistently doing throughout two and a half quarters was isolating the cornerbacks, getting quick passes out. Yeah. Did you guys just say, hey, clamp down, you got to take those away, or what, what was the adjustment? Clamp down. I mean, there were some, you know, some major you know, stiff arm push offs, you know, that we just got to play better. You know, we, have, we still got to get better corner right now. We got to get a lot of young guys out there. Um, but, uh, you, know, uh, you know, we'll look at the videotape, but uh, you know, we play better in the second half. But, um, you know, Soresby can make those throws out there. So if they, you know, they're running a 10 yard, you know, comeback, I mean, he was putting them right on the money uh, for the most part. So, um, you know, we got into some different stuff in the second half. Um, you know, and some of those sacks uh, were big plays, great calls by Bates. Desmond Reed had a big game today. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, you know, I already mentioned it. You know, Desmond Reed's a football player. Um, you know, um, you know, I can't say enough. I don't know when the last time someone had 100 yards receiving, 100 yards passing. His performance, outstanding. I'm sure it'd be the player of the week in the ACC. If he's not, something's wrong. Uh, but he's a football player. Do you feel like you might just start to see the field better in the second half? You know, um, you know, possibly. I mean, I told you they're dropping eight. You got to be smart with the yeah. football, and, and um, you know, he did a better job even in the second half of scrambling and taking the yards they're going to give you. I mean, if you don't feel good, take off and run. And he did that in the second half as well. Um, but uh, he obviously saw the field, you know, better. You know, there was a couple scramble throws that were good as well. You know, he could throw on the run and he made some plays. Obviously, uh, Jason started at left guard, but Ryan was, you know, in uniform. Was Ryan able to play today? Yeah, Ryan was unable to play today. Jason Collier did a heck of a job filling in. And then Jason kind of went down with a little injury. Uh, we didn't have him at the end of that second quarter. I'm not sure how much time in the second quarter. And then 
he got it together, and you know, I give Jason Collier a ton of credit. I mean, the guy came back and, and fought through it, um, and um, you know, a little hamstring. I'll throw it right out there to you. Jerry, where's Jerry at? He's not here. He would love that. Uh, but he had a hamstring, and, and uh, he came back in the second half. He had a hole maybe in the third quarter. Uh, but Jason did a heck of a job helping us win that football game. Uh, Sauls had two those two field goals, but I think maybe the more important one at the end of the first half. Did you think of the, the most important one was at the end of the game? I mean, that's a that's a game winner right there. That's a big time play. You know, we got a lot of faith in, in, in Ben Sauls. I mean, he was over ninety percent during fall camp. Uh, he's he's money, and um, you know. Again, points are points, whether in the first half or second half. You, know, you can take the three when, when that's what you got and, and go with it. When you, when you, you talked all week about how, hey, since he's going to drop eight, drop eight, and you saw a lot of times they had a second defender on a lot of you guys' primary targets. What went into Eli being able to settle down and sift through that and find the right guys? You know, I think experience. I mean, you know, you, you can't, you know, you come into a you know, great atmosphere in Cincinnati, they got, they got a good game day atmosphere. Um, and um, you know, just experience. I mean, you can't you can't get that in practice. Just you know, the experience is just going to make him a heck of a lot better here as we move forward. He knows he's been there now. He's been on the road, and um, it'll, it'll make it better. When you said Eli apologized to you, that's just for not playing the way he wanted to in the first half. Yeah, the way you know, it's just like you know, it's the first thing he said to me after the game, it won't happen again. Um, yeah, just you know, sorry, coach. But uh, you know, hey, it wasn't just him. It was all of us. It was coaches and players and. And uh, it's not just on the quarterback. You know, he gets all the credit when things are going good. And, and uh, sometimes he's going to get, you know, um, the minuses when he's not. What's this do for a, pro a program, Pat? To have a, these are, this, you don't see comebacks this size that often. What do you think it does for you guys? Well, I think it gives them belief. You know, we talk about faith and belief all the time. And, you know, our guys believed. And there was never a time on the sideline. Talk about emotion and energy on the sideline. There was never a time on the, on the sideline where our guys didn't think they could get it done. And I always talk about feeding off each other. You know, our offense scores and our defense, you know, our defense got stronger as our offense kept scoring, they got stronger. That's what we didn't have a year ago where we are feeding off of each other. And the offense scores, we go up and then we get into victory defense and, and, and shut it down and win the game at the end. So, I mean, it's like everything, you know, went in, you know, we had a four minute stop. We had a two minute, you know, at the end of the half, how about the two minute at the end of the half of the field goal? You think that field goal was important with, was it 33 seconds left on the clock at the half? And we get in field goal range and kick a 53 yarder. I mean, that's, you know, you had a game winner at the end of the half, and you had a game winner, you know, at the end of the game, Ben Sauls. It seemed like in the second half there, the defense really stepped up, just based on what the linebackers were able to do, more pressure on the quarterback, just what did you think of there? Yeah, I don't know how many pressures we had. You know, we didn't get enough, but he got the ball out well. I mean, he did a nice job, um, but uh, I don't know how many sacks we had today. Um, but we didn't get enough, but he's good with the ball. He's a, he's a really good football player. Your defense allowed seven yards in the, in the fourth quarter. Who did you see being the leader, leading voice out there to keep that team, keep their, their heads high and focused to make those kind of adjustments? You know, I don't, I, I don't know. I would say you know, Brandon George would be one of them, but I think you know, coaches and players. It takes it. You know, better be more than it better be more than one guy. You know, I think you know, the coaches held it together and, and were positive on the sideline, and that's all you can be. You know, you, you coach it up off the iPad what you see, uh, get things better. Uh, I snap it a couple of times. Just, you know, when I see some stuff on the iPad, you know, between series, you know, and, you know, and that's not good. It's it's you know valuable to have those iPads out there just to you know know who you're attacking. You can't wait till Sunday to figure it out. Um, but uh, you know we played much better at the corner position in the second half, and um, and again we, we made some plays and made some good adjustments. Anything final before we uh, bring our players up? Pat, when, when you make a hire like you did with Cade, and then you see an offense like this do this in the second half, what's it do just for the belief of like hey yeah I think we we did a good job getting this offense together. Um, you know, we've had a belief for a while. It wasn't just you know, after last week or after this week. You know, I told our team last night that you know, I've got more confidence. I've been you know, coming into the 10th season. I have more confidence in what our guys can do in that room. I told them last night before they went to bed that uh, you know, I couldn't be more confident about what we can do on you know, really all three phases. And we made our mistakes, trust me. You know, the, the penalties, uh, we'll look at those. I mean, we started twice you know, inside the 15-yard line again. It's hard for anybody to, to, to go down there. I think we started, you know, at the six yard line, we took it 94 yards for a touchdown as well. Uh, but, you know, we, we didn't have the winning, we didn't win, you know, the time possession, and we certainly didn't win the field position. Those are two critical things. And, you know, special teams got to get better. Uh, we've had two holdings on kickoff return this season so far. It's two and two. That's not good. And, and it puts our, you know, we had some pretty good kickoff returns with Kenny Johnson, you know, uh, you know hitting it up in there and, you know, to get called back for, for a hold. So we got we to gotta clean that stuff up. I'm just going to get the guys off that you know can't get it done, and and uh, and, uh, and go with guys that will. Coach, thank you very much. Hey.